Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's baby watch. It's officially baby week. My due date is at the end of this week. So today is currently Monday the 20th and we are due on the 25th, which is Saturday. So I thought we'll start baby watch this week just because I can feel my body starting to make some changes and open itself up ready for labor so i didn't want to miss the opportunity to do baby watch we could be doing baby watch for two weeks now we'll see <laughs> but yeah we are officially 40 weeks yay um and this is the most pregnant i have ever been before because isaiah was induced at 39 weeks and two days so this is the most pregnant and most uncomfortable I've been <laughs> ever. So, but I'm loving it. It's still really nice to wake up with my belly and just know that they're still safe and it's coming. It's the excitement. I feel like a little kid the night before my birthday, but it just keeps dragging out. <laughs> so I thought we would start baby watch with doing some old wives tales and just tallying up um, what comes up for a boy and what comes up for a girl and we can just see at the end when the baby comes out how accurate these really were for me. <laughs> so I did the urine and baking soda test with Isaiah before I knew what he was or did I know? I might have known what he was. But I did that when I was pregnant with him and it did fizz and he was a boy. So we'll see what we get this time and what the outcome is as well. So I'm just jumping on Pinterest and typing in old wives tales. There was one I had saved. Look what Nani's doing. I know, she's wrecking her bed. <laughs> so this one here called he or she you can find it on Pinterest anywhere when you type it in um, obviously a couple of these I'm not going to be able to know because we haven't had any scans or anything so we're not going to know the heartbeat we're not going to know what was the other one oh hello Nala you want to say hello <laughs> you're facing the wrong way yeah I think it's just anything to do with a scan we're not going to know obviously because we haven't had any this pregnancy but all the rest I can go through and we can tally up whether it's a boy whether it's a point for a boy or a point for a girl I've also got a couple written down in my notepad of like what frequently quest like frequently asked questions that are coming through that are also old wives tales so I thought I would chuck that in this video as well so we'll start with them and then you we'll head over to the he or she on Pinterest you shirt that you can put on. so the first question is where I'm carrying the weight if I'm carrying high they reckon it's a girl and if I'm carrying low then it's a boy so let me stand up you guys will have to let me know in the comments as well what you think. I feel like this time I'm carrying quite high. So I'm going to point that as a girl because that's quite high. I was quite lower with Isaiah. So that is one for team girl. Let me know in the comments what you guys vote as well. The next one is morning sickness. So. It says, if I had severe morning sickness, it would be a girl. And if I had a little bit of morning si sickness, <laughs> then it would be a boy. So I didn't have any real morning sickness. I just felt a little bit nauseous in the first few months, but I never spewed. I never was wiped out by it. So I think that would be team boy. Third question, spontaneous acne. So if I got a lot of acne, that is team girl. If I didn't get any, then it's team boy. My skin has honestly been the best that it's ever been. I do take great care in my skincare and my hormone management. So I've always kind of had nice skin, 
but according to that, it would be Team Boy. Question number four is cravings. So if it was really salty, it would be a boy. And if it was really sweet, it would be a girl. That one is hands down salt all over. You guys know from my update videos that I've just been craving salt, 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 salt. No matter how it comes, usually in the form of hot chips. Not great, but it happened. <laughs> Um, so that is Team Boy. Okay, and now moving on to the Pinterest chart. We've done a couple of them anyway, like cravings, morning sickness. So this one is sleeping on the left side or the right side. So left side is the boy. Um, and the right side is the girl. I honestly... Oh, what's this side? That's the left side. So that's another one for Team Boy. Wow. Um, mum's foot size. If it's increased, they reckon boy. And if it's the same, it's a girl. So my feet have not changed whatsoever. I haven't even had puffy feet. I did one day when it was really hot, but I just soaked them in a cold bucket of water and they were gone. So I would say that would be another one for Team Girl. Next one is heartbeat. Obviously we don't know that. We haven't had a Doppler or even a scan to find that out. So that will forever be unknown. Headaches. Yes with a boy, no with a girl. So that's another one with team girl because I have not had headaches this pregnancy. Emotions. So chill with a boy, moody with a girl. I've been mostly chill. Um, I've been a little bit irritable as I've come into my 38, 9 week, but I'm just so uncomfortable and hot. It is hot here in Australia at the moment, <laughs> and this week's going to be brutal. Um, so emotions, I'm going to go with chill because I really have been, um, and that's Team Boy. Balance, <laughs> this will be interesting. So, clumsy for a boy, graceful for a girl. I've been so clumsy. I've been dropping everything and tripping over myself and just standing up and then just falling down. <laughs> Not down, but just stumbling. Um, so that's team boy, clumsy all the way. Skin texture, dry or soft. See, again, that doesn't really change anything because I'm a self-care girl and I bath in coconut oil all the time, drink heaps of water. But according to this, dry for a boy, soft for a girl. So that's team girl because I have soft skin. Cold feet. Yes for a boy, no for a girl. I haven't had cold feet at all. So that would be a no, which is team girl. So we're leveling out here. I thought for a second this was going to be solely boy. <laughs> Dad's intuition. I actually asked him that the other day and he said girl. He felt girl as well. So that is team girl. Oh, we're drawed. Mum's intuition, I have thought girl this whole entire time. So that is team girl as well. So that's it for the Pinterest one. But there is two that are physical ones. So I want to do the urine test, which I did with Isaiah. So it's just you pee in a cup and you add two tablespoons of baking soda. If it fizzes, it is a boy. If it stays dormant, then it is a girl. So I wanna try that one. And the wedding ring test. So you hold the wedding ring on a string and if it spins, spins? Yeah, if it goes circular motion, it is a girl. And if it goes side to side, then it is a boy. So. I don't know if I'll be able to do that one on my own, so we'll just see how we go. 
and I actually don't need to pee yet so we might just hit pause on this video for now and I'm sure it won't be long because we pee all the time when we're this pregnant <laughs> so last one I want to add in because we've got mum's intuition and we've got dad's intuition what is your intuition do you mm. think it is a girl or a boy a boy a boy now you've said sister forever but you think it's a boy there you go that's another one for team boy which is weird because this whole pregnancy he said girl <laughs> but we'll mark it down you're locking in boy or girl girl oh, that's confusing girl or boy boy <laughs> I'm going to put boy because that was your first response, okay? <laughs> you dag. Mwah. I love you. Tell everyone how excited you are. You are so excited to meet your baby, aren't you? We looked on the calendar this morning and I showed him that we were on Monday the 20th. And how many days did we have till baby was due? We had one, two three, four, five days till it was due, didn't we? And he's so, so excited, you guys. <laughs> I don't think he knows what's going to hit him. <laughs> so I knew it wouldn't be long. It's time for a wee. So we'll go and get some <laughs> wee and we'll bring it out for our next little wives' table. So that's the weird part of pregnant life. I was so busting then, and that's all I got. <laughs> but yeah, weird, I know, but I have we in a cup, and we're going to do an experiment. Don't mind the dog, the TV's on, and she whinges while the TV's on. But yeah, because I didn't get much, I don't know how much baking soda I have to put in now. Maybe we'll just do half a teaspoon, because it's not much in there, like at all. <laughs> But yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so I've got the bicarb. I've got the, the wee. <laughs> and I've got a really big teaspoon. So I'm just going to do probably half of that. That should be plenty. So, like that. If it fizzes, it's supposed to be a boy. If it doesn't, it's a girl. nothing see I did that with Isaiah and it definitely fizzed but that's doing nothing so that is a point for team girl I'm gonna go put this in the toilet now it's gross so the next one is getting the wedding rings, which I can't wear at the moment because my fingers are all swollen and I don't want to run the risk of getting it stuck. So I went and got them freshly cleaned. Look how beautiful and clean that is. So lovely. So we're going to do the wedding ring test. I don't know. That's Nala, by the way. So I'm not sure if I can do this one very accurate myself, but I'm home alone. This video has got to go up like very soon. Otherwise, it's not going to get uploaded for you guys tonight. So I have some string. I have rings. We're just going to give it a go. So I'm going to tie that because if I lose these rings and I have to bend under the bed, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> so they're on there. And I'm just going to hold it over my belly as best I can. I know someone else is supposed to do that. But like I said, I'm home alone. So. Okay. Flattering angles, right? <laughs> but this is... So that is pretty side to side to me. Can you see that? I don't even know. So there's that. Change your arms and see.
that's going side to side as well. So, side to side was team boy. So that's another one for team boy. Okay, so we are completely drawn. <laughs> we have, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for each, so eight boy, eight girl. So I've just jumped on Pinterest again. We really needed that heartbeat one. That was the decider. That's a good one, heartburn, because we all know I have. So heartburn, yes for a girl, no for a boy. It's pretty obvious I have had really bad heartburn pretty much the whole way through. So that is team girl, which breaks it up and puts one in the lead, which is girl. So that'll be really interesting to see if that is a girl or whether we have a boy. So that is the end of our little old wives tale video. I really enjoyed that. That was so much fun. So yeah, now we just tally up that the girl is in front. So now we just wait and see what we have. But if you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell because, yeah, we're on Baby Watch, so you know what that means afterwards. Don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and I can't wait to meet my little bundle, and I cannot wait to introduce this bundle to you guys as well. Okay, so that is day one of Baby Watch down. I will see you tomorrow for Baby Watch day number two. Bye. I won't say goodbye yet. Can I change your mind? Cause I don't think we're finished until I